So if we go for intimacy with someone who's not ready to give us intimacy, there can be a lot of difficulty. And these are just some of the things. So we start talking about intimacy. What are we talking about? Intimacy is eye contact. It's warmth. It's skin touch. It's gentle words. It's pres Ooh. presence and constancy. It's comfort and validation. And when we look for these things and when we find them, this is how we feel. I always feel, don't read slides, because people are usually OK with reading them themselves, which is why we make them. But we start feeling safe. We feel fulfilled. But when we don't feel intimacy, real intimacy, that's when we start to feel unhappy. So of course, all of us want intimacy. But our world has changed from what it used to be. I don't have to rant on and on about the fact that we have thingified our society. We humanize things that are not human. And we make objects out of things that are not. You talk to your TV? What do you say to your microwave? What you done yet? You talk to your food? <laughs> and when we get into the world, we talk to people, but we're really talking to things. We virtually hug. So if we look for intimacy with someone who's not ready to give us intimacy, there can be a lot of difficulty. And these are just some of the things including that we can wind up in a relationship with someone who seemed really cool, but actually is only relating to us because he's mad at so-and-so, they or she's mad at so-and-so, and they never got it together or worked out, and now they're going to make you, listen to them, pay. Because sometimes the people that we want to relate to are not as ready as we are. So what do we need to develop our intimacy capacity? We need to know who we are. We need to understand ourselves. And most of all, when we are not able to develop that, then we need to develop our own self-care.